Hey everyone, how's it going? So I just picked up the Soka Chain Wax System. Uh, it's a crock pot type thing that you can use for waxing a chain. Uh, everything that I've been hearing, uh, reading online, watching other videos, uh, does wonders for your drivetrain, uh, lasts forever, so much less wear and tear. So I thought, hey, let's give it a shot. Uh, the crock pot unit thing retails for about $100. And then we also picked up some of the Silka uh, strip chips, which you need when you're waxing a new chain. Helps take off the factory grease and everything. Uh, these are $24. And then a uh, big old bag of their Super Secret Chain Blend Wax. Uh, this was 40 bucks, So it was about 160 ish in all. If you do sign up on their website to get junk email, uh, so and turn your email address, you get like 10% off. So I did that, saved myself a couple bucks, and I think it was free shipping, over $100. Easy to get to, uh, yeah, when you get the crock pot thing. So uh, yeah, let's open this bad boy up and actually see what we get inside. Inside the box, we have some bubble wrap. Who does not like a bubble wrap? So your crack pot comes with the lid, Ooh, nice little logo there, display, fancy fancy. Now this must be that little coupler wire thing to use to hang your chain. So yeah, just that snaps in there somehow I would say, looks like it's threaded, yep, threaded, cool. And I'm willing to bet dollars to donuts. This is our stand. What side is open? Neither side is open. Now it's open. Okay, so this must go in there somehow with something. There's another piece. Oh yeah, look at this bad boy. Another part of our stand. Some assembly required. So yeah, looks like the crock pot will sit in here. You got a nice little window for your cord to go through. Okay, yeah, and we got us a little bag of screws that we're hiding inside the crock pot. So yeah, bolt that on, front, back, I don't know. Does it matter? Probably not. Maybe in the front, because your threads are on the back side there. You'll have your head spacing out. Then yeah, your chain just hangs like that in your crock pot or after you, actually, yeah, letting it cool off. So yeah, what we're going to do is uh, we picked up two chains uh, for our Domani's. We're going to wax one, and the other one we're going to do normal, and we're going to run them for about a year, do monthly check-ins, check our chain wear, and uh, yeah, just see, is the wax that much better? All right. It's preset to 75, which is what it tells you to do when you read the instructions. And to fill it up, uh, your little dog dish, until it's about 20 centimeters, millimeters from the top. Uh, it would have been cool, actually, if they would just would have had a little line etched in there, fill to here. Uh, but yeah, it's about halfway. All right, I'm calling that good. Wow, it's actually kind of trippy. Kind of tough because it's so reflective, being all nice and new. So, yeah, it's kind of wild looking. And we are using a strip chip. So you got to add one of these. And it did say for the strip chip to heat it up to 125. So yeah, you add one of your little strip chips. Uh, looks like candy, so keep it out of the reach of children. Or if you've had an edible earlier in the day, you probably don't want to be doing this. You might get confused. And uh, think this is your candy good good. It's not. So yeah, we will you know, up our temperature to 125 Celsius science units. We'll let everything melt nice and good. And then we will uh, dip in our new chain using the fancy little hanger doohickey here. Wax is fully melted. And it's up to our 125, so the instructions say next. 
to lower our chain in, being careful not to splatter anything. There we go. And to agitate it for 30 seconds, you're going to have to count for me, viewers. Let me know when my 30 seconds is up. Woo! That's hot! Yep! That is definitely hot. I splattered. Alright, I'll call that good at 30 seconds. And now it says to let it sit for 10 minutes. It's been about 10 minutes, and the instructions say to lightly agitate for another 30 seconds. Careful not to splatter, because that does hurt. Actually, you can kind of just agitate it like that. Oh yeah, that is good. I like this a little bit better. Less dangerous. Live and learn. All right, and then it says to lower your temperature back down to 75 degrees Celsius, science units. And once our little pot here gets down to 75, uh, then it's good to hang and let it cool and dry. As you can see, we're down to 75 degrees Celsius, so it is okay for us to probably turn it off. Maybe, there we go. And uh, hang our chain up to dry. According to the directions, this will take a good 10, 15 minutes, and then we can slap it on the bike. And it'll be good to go for quite a while. Uh, one thing, yeah, from looking at other videos, uh, listening to other people's experiences with wax chains, they are pretty stiff when you uh, finish once it dries, so you kind of want to work it side to side some, help uh, loosen it back up. And even the instructions say it takes anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes of riding to really kind of break in the chain uh, with all the wax. But yeah, there you have it, a uh, quick little rundown. It's pretty easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, things I like to see maybe changed, uh, have a little line on the bowl there so you know how much to uh, fill it up to. That'd be really handy to have. Uh, this tower thing kind of looks like the Eiffel Tower. It'd be pretty badass if they made it look more like the Eiffel Tower. You know, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, and a sticker. I mean, come on. I just dropped a hundred bucks plus. Uh, see, I like stickers. Throw in a damn sticker. And uh, that's about it, really. Yeah, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm excited to see how this turns out. Long-term testing, if, uh, you know, the wax chain does hold up better. Uh, you know, everyone says that they do, but I'm going to do my own research type of thing. And, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll check it out. So anyways, uh, thanks, and have a good one. And remember, we're all in this together, and I'm pulling for you.